else it uh it, it's just so bad so if you ever play this game play with a mouse pad it'll be a lot easier on your psyche as it were so let's check her out and see what's going on here all right there that's her room someone couldn't even let her have her privacy Ooh, somebody's peeping on the ballerina Vivian? just Vivian? no probably just a stage name the artist formerly known as Vivian that name it's everywhere but that wasn't the real you Oh, this is where I poured it in. Hmm. One memento. All right. What we got here? Card. Was Vivian one of your stars? This room has Guy written all over it in big sloppy letters. Hey, hey, easy, easy. Yeah, this wasn't our room. We like to have organized I messes. I don't care who, whichever side is arguing that fact. We know where everything's at. Yeah, this is where I actually came in through. I've been ducking and dodging some sort of crazy looking like monstrosity thing from a from like a, a del toro uh like hellboy looking like horror flick and she or it or whatever however you want to call it is pretty damn spooky okay what's out here Two entrances and exits, huh? All right. Let's see if this is her room. Ooh. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. For anybody new to the game, pretty much the medium, uh, just how it sounds. You play like a, psych a psychic individual, and she can jump between the spirit world and our world. And this game's got a neat mechanic where the game actually occurs at simultaneously and does like a split screen huh. ordeal the page was torn out i can't make out the numbers it's one of the first of its kind to kind of do a like a hybrid kind of half and half kind of thing so i like the mechanic it it, it really puts a good I spin on the whole thing belongs to your true self but which one is it Hmm. And if you guys are wondering like how this plays this plays very similar to like an older style uh resident evil game like the way that the controls are because if i didn't have this game pad I, I i would actually be turned off on playing this game on the pc uh originally it's developed for i think this specific game's developed more for console anyway no real name just words sounds without meaning okay so what are you trying to find we've already looked at okay five the z five eight three six okay five eight three six Got anything here besides the Ellie and Tori? Nope. That's it there. So that's all we can find in this room. So back to the spirit realm. And I don't know why, but the white hair, white hair is just 
really makes a really makes her look powerful. That's just my opinion. Of all the places. Yeah, a face. Somebody lost their face. What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. There's gotta be something. Go back through here. Can we go in here? No. Okay, we go in here? No. Mm-hmm. I hate it like the Ah, uh, okay, that's the that's the charge ability. That's the shield. That's the insight. Maybe I'm missing something in the insight department. Because she has this ability where she can go in and kind of see things that are hidden in both the real world and also the spiritual realm. But let's go back into here. And we're gonna go, ah, uh, ha, ha, okay. Here we Partial go. numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Yeah. And there's another one. Okay, there's that one there. And then here. Which goes with the torn page I probably have. There we go. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Okay, so we got numbers. Okay. Wait a minute. Look at you being all puzzle, puzzle-wise. If it's numbers in re okay, so they're using the old uh, rotary style ordeal here. Here. Hello. Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347? Vivian. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. It's very metaphysical. Okay, nothing going on over here. 
Still would like to know what's the run button. Okay, climb. Okay, hold LT to run. There we go. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Damn. Those mirrors come out of nowhere and I'm like... mirrors come out of nowhere and I'm looking at my own damn reflection and I'm like holy shit I think something's coming at me or something oh okay so it puts me back in the hallway okay so I'm trying to remember which button is the map. There's a map. Camera, 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 movement, inventory, pause menu. No map. Okay. Scenic view. Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. People are nice. Nice and dead. All of them. Love, F. And if you guys are just tuning in, F is a reoccurring theme in this whole, uh, this whole storyline thing for all the documentation, all these letters and postcards. So... I'm still trying to figure out who F is, and uh, they have not released that information, as it were. Okay, this area I've already been in. New details have emerged. No time to. Yeah. Very heard. meticulous of you, comrade. Okay. Very been here. La la la. So slow. And I think I can't span the gap unless I'm in the other realm, which is true. So. Go. Joseph Dub Doubles is a uh, risk taker, kind of like a borderline, like. Thrill seeker, as it were. Also, too, wanted to make a shout out. Uh, shout out to Lowell, uh, Lowell by 1990. Uh, last, at the very end of last stream, ended up resubbing for, uh, for his, this is his two month resub. So I wanted to give him a shout out. Definitely appreciate it. Helps out the channel. This way, can't do anything. Check my phone. Okie dokie. So back to what we we're doing. Look at that emote. It's a good emote. What's going on there, Sky? How you been?
One moment, chat. I think we all I think we all get to that point. <laughs> with uh, work and such pays the bills which is one of the unfortunate evils but I mean you do what you got to do all right so we just found out this woman's real name so now we have to go and find her her ghost body I do believe X O. You're not giving me any capabilities of going back here? No, you are not. That sucks. Kudos to you though. If I had to pick my type of shift from any job, I mean, I'm I mean, most most of the jobs as of recently I've been working there were like nine to fives or eight to fives, but uh, I do enjoy a good afternoon shift though. Fine. Okay, fine. Let me go there. Fine. So what else do you want me to do in this room? What is that? Last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Okay, so we've discovered her name. So that's good. And now we need to put her face back or her face back on. The thing with uh, this other world situation is that you actually put like the spirits to rest by pretty much approaching them with their real name and then you put their mask on uh, because they're currently trapped in this dimension or something of the sort so because this is where we just got our mask from was over here there's nothing in here Yeah, see, actually, the, the game's actually playing at the same, or has, has me in both realms at the same time. Alright, so I actually have to go this direction. And I can't go anywhere here. can't go that way all right so we got Vivian's name that's good now we need to place her mask on oh I know where to place her mask okay okay Vivian's mask, if I do remember right, should be, okay, I can't go that direction, in this room. That's where, this game ends up doing a lot of things where it ends up swapping you between different realms, which is fine, and it's a really cool mechanic, and it's really good for, like, platforming, that kind of a thing, or not like platforming, I can't even say it's really platforming, uh, it's more like just, uh, 
like mapping if you want to even think of it that way okay so I'm trying to remember because we were running away from that pp lady through here i'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember where the going here Ah, here it is. Right here. This is where we needed to go. Because we already put the face on this guy and released his spirit. Now we just need to do it to this, this woman, I think. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it. So now, inventory wise, what we got going on is. I don't know if we're missing a mask, though. This is where we actually released the other guy. And we have his mask. So did we not get his name? Let's see. Go back up here. Because I think this is where we actually got the one guy's mask. And it's been a few days, chat, since I played this. So I'm just kind of getting realigned to everything. All right. So, take a nice leisurely jog across the arm infested, arm infested top portion thing. Well, yeah, this is, okay, this is where we found out, yeah, this is where we found out the one dude's name, the business guy. Because this is actually, a, this is a conference room, I do believe. Yeah. conference room. and we discovered that the one guy's name or and the one guy was actually sitting across from hold on. We found out that the one guy was sitting across from number nine which is Boris guy and so if we were to figure out this guy's name hold on here Yeah, we, I can't. I don't care. And late. That voice. This is related to the guy that we're trying to find out. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just One a second, sexist Jack. pig for all I care. And late, as always. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't okay, care so who that, and So that's the guy we're actually looking for. So Boris is here in seat number nine. So we can go to seat nine. Is seat number four. So seat number four is because right here's the register on who was sitting where is Ozark. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Right. So seat number four is Nicholas. Nicholas Ozwarek. Ozily. So. This is it. 
The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. Okay, so you've now put together that that's the guy you're looking for. So now, there we go. That's okay. It. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. All right, we're good. The hell out of here. Back to the. Oh shit. Back to the How did I know that that guy was going to show up again? Well, that and I'm also trying to get used to these controller... Controller controls versus the, the mouse and keyboard. Alright, so we're going to creep. Yes, I suck again. Thank you. She's, oh, that, this guy's gonna be over in this dimension too. I have a feeling. That's gonna be bad. No? It's not. Maybe I lucked out. Because this is the first dimension, or this is the original dimension I ended up running into. You actually get to see that demon creature thing in this dimension she's just like a like an invisible shade over in the other one all right here we go now we're gonna put your face on time for you to get some rest you've earned it nicholas thank you Did it, Marianne? Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. No. Anywhere is better than here. Truth. Oh, oh yes. Just let me pick you up already. I've been trying to get these bolt cutters for the better part of the game right now. We get to go back. What's this thing? Mr. Rekowicz is being unreasonable. To put it mildly, or just to put it mildly, I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all other duties, there's poor... Poor Mr. Tarkowski to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet. Keeps to herself, mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone of her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I'd swear that it'd sound like two people were talking. She's really gifted. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Hmm. Quiet girl. Okay, so we need to. Ha ha ha! I got him. Yes. Fucking finally. Right. Time to get back to the day room. Nice. Cool. Oh, get up. Got the bolt cutters. All is right in the world. 
can't go that way can't go that way so we need to uh we're gonna have to pass or one of them maybe not this place this is where it started Got some whispers going on here. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the spell you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? I do believe that's what we're here to figure out. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. Empty eyes. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkowski. Whatever happened to you? The test came back. No signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still I look into your sad, empty eyes, and I have this awful feeling, like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I will take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 400 milligrams of uh, venlafaxine. That'll cheer you right up. That's eh, a little demented. Just a little bit. All right, so heck out of here. cutters for the win yay hmm. so worth it i love you bolt cutters truth okay can't go anywhere there go down the stairs we go don't mind the creepy ambiance i mean that goes with the whole motif of the whole game here. La 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 la. Yeah, I am actually playing with controller. It's actually it. Uh, when you first start up the game, it actually prefers you to play with a gamepad versus a keyboard and mouse, which is actually a very good suggestion because it was really, really bad, like really bad. Like it was really clunky, and I it just was not good on keyboard like and mouse. Game. So. Yeah, I threw in a pair or a pair of AA batteries in my old Xbox Elite controller, and works like a champ. Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Okay, so the day room, if I remember. name it is. The day room, if I remember right, is downstairs. nice thing is with this map it's not too it's a big map but it's a big map but it's not like it's so big that you can get lost in okay so ah here we go bolt cutters There we go. Bolt cutters for the room. We're in. Day room. Here we go. Uh, why do I have to explore everything? Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. Here we go. And I think that. Day rooms in this hallway, I think. I remember right. Yep, day room. Here we go. All right, we finally got to the day room. All right, here we go. Oh, 
shit. There yet? <gasps> there you are. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he...? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No! No, Marianne! The sadness! No, never again! Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes. Hmm. Alright, this is that split I was talking about, chap. Where you're actually legitimately playing on two separate screens and it's the same environment. And then what's kind of cool is that since I can't go through here in the normal, in the reality, and I can go here through the extra dimension, I can, I can switch and be able to modify it. And this is actually kind of gross, actually. Just a little, a little, a little snippy snip. Don't mind me, just a little flush carving, as it were. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Richard? Are you there? sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. And then what's kind of crazy is that you have to keep keep an eye on what's going on between like the screens. Like the one section over here to the left, see those moths? I actually have to put on a shield to go through those moths or they'll destroy me. A well of inspiration. Wait. Thomas. I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Memorized by the surreal dreamscape his mind would weave. The way he described him, uh, with every detail, it was as if it had actually he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I don't know. It didn't really matter to me. Uh, as his visions came alive on my canvas, some would say I'd use the boy to fuel my want, my waning creativity. But how could I not? To tell or to let this unique perspective, this boundless well of inspiration, go to waste—that would be an unforgivable sin. Hmm. 
right. Got that. Got a door over here. We got the moss of badness out here. So, oh, we have a memory thing over here. And the memory thing's kind of cool. Uh, let me see if I can do it here. Let me. Yeah, it's this IV bag here. So now I gotta piece together the memory. Here we go, here we go, and there. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. All right. Something over here. Another sheet of music. Okay, right, let's keep exploring this room. See if we find anything. Another letter. A very special boy. I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed and constantly looking over his shoulder, like a scared animal. His parents had died in the worst Warsaw uprising of what he had gone through in the years that had followed. He did not want to speak and I never pressed him, but it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Alright. So got the crazy dimension thing below, the reality above. We have a horse picture. Gather round, children! I want you to meet Lillian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Huh? Maybe she was a paranormal person too. Maybe. We got some here. Throwing away greatness. I'm guessing these are kind of like in the in the mindset of Richard. I'm guessing. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw li little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down and he finally agreed to enter the university, but on one on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I, I was rather skeptical, thinking he was throwing away greatness for the mere competence. But deep inside, I guess he was glad to see that the only one to bring his visions to life, or he was glad the, the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between, and he no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. It's like the memoirs of Richard and what he was experiencing with his uh, subjects, more or less. I don't, I don't know if he was treating them like subjects. It seems like he was treat, or treating them kind of like with a human element, per se. Okay, I can't do anything there. All right, so now we're going to go in here. Heck. So we got this bad boy right here, which is a completely different thing in two dimensions. That globe. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. 
All right, it looks like I'm missing a piece, I guess. A method to madness. It became a habit of ours. We sit down, we, we'd sit down sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and the splendor of the worlds beyond our own. He started out as an innocent exercise in my in imagination, ultimately it became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wonder why he was so eager to share his visions with me, to him, or with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. Hmm. All right, so it doesn't seem like Richard was like like doing some shady shit or anything. It seems like everything was pretty well off. Let's see, let's go through this door here. Can I go through this? Locked. That sucks. All right, so I guess I gotta go through. Oh, I gotta go through the moss. And I think the button for the shield is... Hold on. I think it's... I'm trying to remember. That's the insight. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, good. Um, hold on. What is the button for the shield? Yeah, right bumper. Seems like my right bumper is about the my right bumper is non-responsive. That is awesome. Yeah. Great. Shows how long it's been since I used this gamepad. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna bind the shield to. Find it to the up. That even work? Or do I just not have enough? I might not have enough juice. I think that's what's going on here. It might be the reason why I can't do the shield is because I don't have any juice, not because my buttons messed up there. So let's try There's something a little different here. Spirit, uh, spirit shield. I'm going to turn that back to right bumper. Yeah, because if you look at her arm in the spirit realm, see how it, uh, it's not like lit up. She's got the, like those kind of flakes or something on the side. That's actually like your meter of spirit energy that she has. So right now she doesn't have any spirit juice, so she can't do anything. That would be the reason why. All right, so now we got to figure out where we're gonna find some spirit in. We can't go through the moths because they will pretty much eat me alive. I mean, we could try, but it's going to be bad news bears. Don't you think he would be better off? What about his fat Richard. Oh, we were... All right. Okay. Maybe there's a key around here somewhere, maybe. That I missed. I 
Can't really do anything there. That sucks. All right. So, yeah, yeah, bad, 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 bad. Okay, yeah. They will eat me alive. So, we can't be doing that, chap. We're gonna go back the way we came. Back the way we came, and then we are going to get some spirit power. That's awesome, it won't let me. So I guess it's gonna force me to go through the moss without spirit power, huh? Hmm. I don't see that going too well for me, but we're gonna see what happens. What do you think, chat? All right. I haven't done any polling or anything yet, so I can't even mess around with that yet. But, uh, what you guys think? You think I'm gonna survive uh, going through this or no? Yes? No? Maybe so? I honestly don't think so. That is my professional opinion. But, we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Rip. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yep. Well, that coming from a mile away. So where the hell is my spirit source then? Yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah. Richard? Are you there? Okay, we already know this one. Music. Get that. Well, at least part of it. Then we gotta reorganize this memory that's over here. This thing here. Okay, Gallagher, thank you very, very much for following the channel. Uh, it definitely helps out. Thank you for supporting the community and being a pack member. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Oh, 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 and we're there. Oh, almost, almost there. We're gonna get it. There we go. Don't you think he would be better off in it? What about his Richard? Yeah, we we already know. All right. huh? And again, thank you, thank you, Kay Gallagher, for joining the channel. Uh, definitely helps out a lot. And uh, the cool thing is, is if I ever go online or go live, especially if you've got notifications turned on on your cell phone or on your mobile device, you'll see whenever I come online. And that's another thing too, chat. If you guys don't have those notifications turned on on your phone, uh, whenever you uh, have Twitch on your phone, you'll never know when I go online or, or unless you're going on my Facebook, Facebook, is it Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter? I end up posting up normally when I go live on there too. But soon, very soon, I will actually start doing a regular schedule. And I think that's probably going to be the next serious step we need to we need to take with the channel, so that you guys know. Oh, hey, uh, Wolves is going to be online uh, every Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. So, oh, look at that! Look at that! Cat hype with the glasses and everything. All right, well of inspiration. Actually, yeah, we've already read that. All right, and we can't go through there, so that's bad. 
Okay, so goal of this area, we need to figure out how we're gonna get some spirit energy. Because as of right now, we have none. And we need some. Another cool one, guys, if you want a really cool emote is, uh, I think it's called Komodo Hype. That's a really cool one, too. Uh, Komodo Hype Clap. I think it's Komodo Hype. And it's like this big Komodo dragon, big mouth looking thing, and it's just really cool looking. All right. Got that, got that. Got the picture. Squid. Gather around, children. We're, I want you. We're not. We're not playing Lovecrafty and stuff. No, no squids involved. Gather round, children. I want you to eat. All right, chat. We need to figure out how we're going to get the spirit energy because we need spirit energy to get through. Get through that because it won't let me go back. Come on. Okay, we got sheet music. Speaking of cats, here's your cats. Cats, 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 cats. Get to get a cat, 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 cats, cats. Those are what what are letting me go between dimensions and stuff. All right, and then we got this globe thing over here. Holy shit, that is a lot of cats. Complete. Holy cat spam, Batman. Got so many cats. Okay, so I'm guessing if we put the incomplete piece in the globe, that will actually probably give me the spirit energy I need to continue. So we need to figure out where... I didn't even know that there was that many cat emotes. Holy shit, guys. We need to figure out where that piece of the globe's at. Maybe something I missed back here, maybe? If you guys see something, let me know. What, I can't use bolt cutters to enter in there? Or a key. I, th I think a key would take us into the next room. And neither as of right now. Let me save. No. Flat earther. 
Um, where is... Where the fuck is this? Because if I go out there, I'm going to die. There's no if ands or buts about it. We just proved that fact just a little while ago. And I don't really feel like recollecting everything. I'm guessing the key is on the physical realm rather than the rather than the like dimensional realm so why are you still showing me this thing and she runs at like a leisurely jog rather than an actual run We'll get there soon. We had a million years or so. Alright, so we got nothing here. Go over here. No. Go over here. No. Go over here. No. Maybe he blew it up with all the uh, all the cat emotes. The light is not broken. Dude. Okay, maybe you broke it. Why did you have to go breaking it? Oh my god, the whole world's going to shit because you can't use the lights? Man. Uh, the way it works, uh, Christine, is you have to put a, uh, you have to put a, uh, exclamation point on there. Thumbs up. Un momento. <laughs> One second here, chat. Supposedly, there's some people of the community that really want my lights to work. Yeah, but it, it still worked even after the fact when we had a lot of subs and stuff, so... I'm rebelling. <laughs> okay, general... Let me see here. 
basically. Yeah, it's weird. I can't believe, uh... Wait a second here. Let me try one more thing here. Because it's receiving... Well, why'd you have to do that, Sam? You got it all stuck on aqua and everything. Nobody likes things on aqua. Let's try a full close and reopen here and see if that helps. Well, actually, I was just reading their updates on the software I end up using. Supposedly, they have something for a follow, but I think I ended up fixing it. All right, guys, try it out again. Because it went to dark blue. Come on, guys, throw in a color. Come on. There we go. <sighs> Sorry about that chat. Very, very demanding folks for colors on my stream here. All right. So we are looking for a set of keys or a map piece. That is what we're looking for. I see that. missing the key. I mean, I could try going back out here again, but I don't know if that's going to fly. There you go. Have to appease the masses.
God, there is absolutely nothing in this room. Why the hell? Okay. I'm breaking down, chat. I am going to the Google. I'm not cheating. I'm getting direction. Okay, I, I remember what's going on here. All right, I'm a retard. Red, because we don't like cheaters. It wasn't cheating. I just completely forgot a damn mechanic that this game, other ga this game has, because I haven't used it in a long time. All right, so this is what I have to do. See this door? I can't go through it in the material pl plane, so I have to do an out of body experience. So I have to go through here. Grab that very quickly. And then make sure I got everything out of here. Okay, can't do the memory yet, so we're gonna go back to my body here. Okay, so we got the globe. No game even giving me that, like, stink eyed Chris Tucker emote looking thing there. Alright, uh, spirit. There we go. Okay. Looks like I need to make a face. I think that's what's happening here. So that needs to hold on. Okay, can't do anything with that. That's stuck. There you go. Please. Show me a way out of here. Hmm. I think there was a door over here, I think. Let's see what that is. Is it a door? That is not a door. I do know that there's a door or something, I think, over here. So we're going to try. There's the window there to the left, so let's try that one first. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. Making progress. Helps when you remember mechanics, folks. Here we go. Here, go back here. Ah, uh, there's the spirit stuff. Oh. Okay, so I know what to do here. It's like it's missing something. Yeah, it's missing the. Uh, we need to find the the last piece of this music sheet so that we can make ourselves a nice little setup there for. <clears throat> nice little setup there for some otherworldly powers so we can get past those moths. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come 
Come on. Here we go. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that... sadness? I do believe that is sadness. All right. Yummy, that is... Just looks like cutting a piece of roast beef. That's amazingly making me so hungry right now. Not really. But that's that's a cap chat. There we go. Okay. So we're good there. Oh, there's the key we're looking for. Sweet. It's nice when folks remember how to do mechanics. All right. Now we're going to go clear across this way. Back over here. Open set door. Give them the bolt cutters. That'll work. Cool. Now I don't have to do that out of body experience shenanigans. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant. There we go. So that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Record? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Foul play is afoot. Growing apart. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself in time, or all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accept the fact that he has found true happiness. True love, strong, pure. Well, as pure as it could be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, that the one that would eventually be known as Niwa, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. What he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive even a bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. And he was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. And I guess Richard was fairly involved with the, some of the people he was worked with. That should be all the pieces of the score now. Yep. Cool. Alright, we're good there. So now we actually have a spirit source now, so we're gonna cross back over here. Uh, we gotta go this way. And over here. Here we go. We're in. Okay, I don't really need to focus on the spirit world. I need to... Here. There we go. There we go. 
Yep. Okay, we're good. Recharge. Okay. Now these moths are going to be my bitch. That's what's going to happen now. Sweet. There's a big wide open space and some crazy demon shit going on in the background. See that and and is fairly disturbing. new home I was finished they, they had to let me go me Richard Perkowski whose work or whose works were recognized across the continent whose imagination as they said knew no bounds uh, knew no bounds where the very name had become synonymous with fine art all that meant is all that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats to them I was just a liability the source of a dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I need to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city, but most of all, I need a friend. And so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it was best not to interfere with, a gr with his grieving. And so now I feared that he would hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are in here. So what we got going on here? Oh, memory. One of these things, just like the other. Uncle there Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the... ferocity of adult lives. That's a good way to put it. I'm getting a weird vibe from it. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. When emotions run strong, uh, oh, here we go. Now I can actually see a path to something. What's this thing? Is it just me or that hand seems like it keeps getting closer? Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here. I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Hmm. Looks like I gotta go this direction. Yep. There's the ribbon. No! I didn't mean to. Oh God! What have I done? It feels. Have you done? Shit's about to get weird. I have a feeling. Oh, awesome. Just a random wheelchair come out of nowhere. Uh. 
I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. Wonder who he's talking to. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? decided to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise okay, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on yes I can feel it okay it's around here somewhere oh well, it's real fucking specific Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw mm. this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? This is the first time I've been introduced to this character, so this guy's completely new. What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. 
Fucking bastard! Who could he? I'm guessing that's the Thomas that Richard was talking about in the I memoirs. I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back... Oh, just... Whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Hmm. That's interesting, Chad. There's a lot. There's some crazy stuff that's going on. I think Richard did some naughty things. I think that's what's occurring. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? <clears throat> Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. What you did. <laughs> No one shouts here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never wait. But you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Some crazy shit's going on. Weird slimy tentacle thing from beyond. Hmm. All right, Richard. This is your world. Spiritual Thomas? Tell me what you're hiding. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you? Made you what you are? I'm not I 
guess I have infinite spirit energy, I guess. Oh shit. Pretty intense chat. Loss. Hatred. Grief. This place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? No! Secret, the sum of all his demons. But I have the feeling something's watching me. I don't know. I feel something's not right. Yeah, this is the place I'd like to go, but. Can't do nothing there. There we go. We got some over here. Nice. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You better go and bring. Uh, all right, I'll play along. For now. Okay, and now it looks like I'm playing out of memory. You forgot your knife. Oh, thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! Whoa. Hmm. But where are you going? The army is heading out west. And I'll be going with them. But... No! I don't want you to go! I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes, what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. Some big responsibility put on a kid. By the sweat of your brow. I always thought pipes like this just look so distinguished. I mean, even though they eventually give you some sort of cancer or something like that, I mean, eventually, but I mean, I always thought they looked distinguished for some reason. Um, all right, something in here. You shall rise and you shall fall. Picture of his mother, I'm guessing. This is like his father's study, I think. Those tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. I'm hitting right trigger for a spirit blast. But not have enough juice to blast. Till you return to the earth from which you came. Hmm. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. 
Now it seems like his father was fairly distinguished. As a government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Tarkowski. He who lost, or he who was lost, you mourned, died, the noblest of causes, his country will be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. Okay, so his dad died. That's, uh... Grief. Yep. There's my spirit power I need. Okay, so now. And I'm just. Uh, okay then. That was a weird kind of twist. Okay. So I guess we're in the woods. Hey, Richard. Bet you can't catch me. All right. Before we go any further there, chat, give me one second. I am actually going to BRB real quick. I need to grab some more beverage. So one momento. I will be right back. I'm going to play some music while in the background while we wait. While you guys wait. Come on. Come on.
All right, chat, I'm back. There we go. All right, so we are in the woods as Spirit Thomas, who is the father of the girl we've met. That is uh, her current name. I think it's Tori, but she goes by Sadness. She's a ghost at the moment. What? Hey, wait up! <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke. It looks like we're in a weird forest go? maze. So now we need to know this is actually supposedly Richard, uh, who's the individual that kind of is like a mentor figure to Thomas here, has done some some unspeakable things supposedly to his daughter that he's pissed about. So now he's using his spirit version of himself, which it seems like he's got uh, paranormal powers as well, to invade this man's brain and figure out what his demons are and why he did it Rose! and so the spirit version of himself which actually has a different personality is kind of diving deep into his subconscious and figuring out what richard what made Here richard do what he did i was afraid you'd get lost in there me i've been waiting here for ages i was starting to get bored waiting for you hey Hey, you see that? A storm's coming. Mm. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. The hell did I just run into? Cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? Oh yeah, and also chat, Spirit Thomas is a bit of an asshole, at least from what I'm noticing. So, we'll see uh, if he's somewhat beneficial or helpful to the whole plot here, so we're going to see. Okay, I don't have any more spirit energy to blow away those tentacles, so it's the purpose there. I didn't see anything glowing in that original. Let me enter this thing again. Nope. Okay. So yeah. What the hell do we do now? <laughs> All right. I'll just run around in my leisurely jog. in the tentacle palace from hell, but... Mom! Who is he? Here we go. He's... He's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. Sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Hmm. I 
Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. Oh shit. I can see where this is going. I said, come here. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Guessing it's the beer or the lighter. Probably the beer. He sounds like a beer guy. Charmer, that one. <laughs> there we go. We got some stuff over here. Pipe. I don't think it's the pipe. I think it's that box. What the hell's taking so long? You, oh, you little shit. I'll teach you some respect. Guess this is the last thing, so process of elimination. you let me interact with I have to combine something no I don't have anything what the hell did you do to me <laughs> stay back or I'll cut you again oh shit ungrateful little fuck get the hell away from me gladly hmm Sadness and grief. All right. Away from me, you bastard! No! 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 Hold on, mommy. Get him. Move. Getting dicey. It's all protect her. Can't protect anyone. He's gone. Gone. So we're back this to the garden again. again. But not the same time. Ray! 
Richard! Uh. As you can obviously tell, Chad, this is like very story driven. I, I mean, it's not like done. super action packed or anything, but. I mean, the story is kind of er, pretty cool the way everything's like the dynamic of the story. Richard, where are you? <laughs> Hello? Here we go, right. Right into somebody's subconscious and all kinds Richard, of bad news come bears. Out. I'm like going down the rabbit hole. This isn't funny. Richard. There you are. Oh, hey. I waited for you by the maze. I was afraid something happened to you. I'm fine. I feel like being alone. I got an abusive father and I'm trying to process it all by myself. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. It doesn't change a goddamn thing. I'm wondering what he did. Because they still haven't said exactly Tommy? what he did. What's going on? Listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! Ah! Any son of bullet. Who collaborates with the oppressor? Hmm. Who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots? Hmm. don't have the spirit power to go in there though. Here we go. Commits an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Oh. Swiftly punish. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> This is getting tedious. Bro! 
Shit keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Please, I need you. Things are getting dark. Random rosebush. What the hell happened to Rose? She's gone! He took her from me! Do anything there. I'm gonna go back down this way. You took her from me. Whoa. like the meal that they were talking about earlier. Hmm. No. Ah, no. uh, she was a... Okay, I get it. About what time period, though? Well, it would have been during that time. This guy's got nothing on my spirit bubble. Whoa. This is it. This is the big bed. What is that? No. You're not Rose? Is that you? Monster, you say? 
What does this monster look like? Sir, there's no time. Hurry, we have to get out of here. It's okay, Richard. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? Are you I feel like this is going to take a left-hand turn real quick. No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends. I'm here. Just for you. What? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! I'm sorry, kid. I know you tried to run. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. I guess the point where Richard maybe became catatonic because he ended up destroying his spirit, I think. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> Thomas? Who the hell are you? Beast. Oh. Suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her. She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. And now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I am, but I, he ripped me apart. He burned me down and left me in the dark. He's a fiend, a monster. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. But you, yes, I know you, you can set me free. I can feel it. Please, do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Then give it to me. Please. Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Will you? I'm not your judge. I'm just the fairy man. Be gone. <laughs> Richard.
This time, it, it wasn't just a feeling. It was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? That was fairly intense. And then something clicked. That girl, it's me, but it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. About to run out in the woods in the middle of the night. In the woods. Oh, uh, this is gonna be great. So then I wonder now that entity that I keep running away from if that thing's actually the manifestation of just other people's feelings or if that's like a certain individual or what just uh, follow the direction of this pointed sign see if that's the way I need to go Human Nature Park created thanks to the generosity of the government of the Polish People's Republic. Uh, hold on one second. Before we go too far. What's this thing? Educational Trail. Ah, oh, photo. Poor thing. My darling, I have. Uh, have I ever mentioned Mr. Rakout or. Kowick's uh, daughter, Lillianne. She turned 16 today, poor thing. Couldn't even have a proper birthday because of that sickness that she's got. Anyway, remind me of our Anna. Hers is next month, isn't it? Wish I could be there. Mr. Mer or Rakowicz, uh needs me, to, needs me here. Gotta stay. Gotta help him out. Like he helped me. Love you, F. Another postcard from the mysterious F. The hill. Yeah. Oh, hello. Looks like there's a light in the distance. Reclaiming history, the nearby 19th century fort, a place of great historical significance, will soon be renovated and reopened to the public. All right, off to the nature park in the middle of the night with only flashlights and spiritual medium powers. It sounded familiar somehow. Something from my early childhood, maybe? Was it even a place or something else entirely? Mm. All right, which way, chat? What you guys thinking? Left or right? Come on. 
Left to right. Right? Okay, we're going right. ominous lighthouse or like lighting thing up at the top of the hill scary hill going down Your dog? <gasps> you scared the shit out of me, little buddy. What you got there? Shoot. Oh, hey, wait. Hey, it's like my dog. My dog grabs shoes all the time. Moves them all over the place. Guess we gotta go left. So, there I was, following my new best friend. Hoping he wasn't as lost as I was. I remember thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. Shaving tools, towels, grease. Everything an elegant Sasquatch needs. Man. What's wrong, buddy? <laughs> oh, let's see what It'll we got fine. here. Yummy. Dog food chow. Eat up, champ. I just fed the dog. Yeah, it's like real life. What yeah, is it, not. boy? You want to show me something? You catch a scent? Hey! See now, if it was my dog, my dog has a certain Anyone toy, in there? he can find it anywhere. So it'd probably be that. Be some fire. What's wrong, boy? Is someone in there? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could see you again. I miss you so much. Oh, 
Why did I stay? Why did I let it out? They're all dead. Yes, and this is F. Francis. And I'm still here. I shouldn't be. Hey. You all right in there? You shouldn't be. I can see you. What else did you expect, Marianne? You did her in the door now. Whoa! What a hell of a way to go. He looks drained, rotted out from within, just like those animals I saw earlier. I think that's him. After they closed down the resort, did he just stay behind? What is it, boy? Was he your friend? Regrets. All I wanted was for her to see the sun. I'm so sorry. F. Well, I guess we found F. So good. I'm out. Nope. Not gonna happen. I'm out. Fuck right. Vibrating something fierce right now. Don't leave me here. I'm out. So I am in an abandoned, derelict facility.
Ooh, teeter-totter mode. Oh. I actually have to balance? Shit. Okay. Oh, shit. What? Who's there? You promised. Who's Jack? No risk. This isn't real. It can't be. Jack? And Jack is the individual that's from the very beginning. Uh, his, her caretaker, more or less, the one that adopted her. Is that? Oh, that's his tie. No. That he g be. gave her in the very beginning. Why the hell are you here? I sent you on to the great beyond or whatever. So, either. Right, I think this is a like a false vision or something. You're not him. Might be a trap or something. Where have you sent me? I. I've helped you pass on. I shouldn't be here, Marianne. It's all your fault. Yeah, this has to Jack? be like some sort of vi or it's bad vision or something. Full shit right there, man. Trying to mess with her head. Bolt cutters. Okay, beverage. going on over here. Back up Locked there. down tight. I think there's a lever missing. A generator. Wonder if it still works. Of course it doesn't. I think it's out of gas. Okay, and I guess that's the location where I gotta put gas over here. That's, that's exactly what's going on. So, we're gonna go over here and see if we can find some gas. 
Yes. Wasn't too painfully difficult. Okay, so I have the gas can. Why won't you let me select you? Okay. Guess I need to find the lever too. Okay, nothing over here. Over here. Nothing. Okay, so a lever, huh? Hey, I guess I can't go that way. So let's try to go this way. There you go. feeling I'm going to be ducking and dodging this small creature on the way back through. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen, Chad. <laughs> okay, so you're not going to give me nothing. Okay, so you're gonna give me a path to go on, but nothing to grab. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. That was coming from a mile away. gotta be kidding me i didn't even see them you know, normally you can see the outline of where they're at or, or where it's at but i didn't see shit okay
Okay, got the gas. We're good there. Now, how are they gonna have me cause the creature to show up? And not be able to defend myself. Because they don't give me absolutely anything for going up here. Unless I have to trigger that to be able to progress through, which still makes no sense because I don't... A generator. I wonder if it still works. Of course it doesn't. I think it's out of gas. Okay, so it needs gas. Fine. And I can't drag this thing. So there has to be something up there for me to even need to go up there because that doesn't make a lot of sense why would you send me up in an area where a creature decides to spawn but not have anything objectively for me to grab out of there come on bolt don't fail me now fuck that was loud Yeah, there has to be like the handle that I'm missing up here because there's a switch that I need a handle. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here, chat. Pennywise. Ugh. Okay, guess it wasn't for nothing, chat. Well, let's hope this thing doesn't knock over the bridge.
He's right by that door. This thing is fucked up, chat. Fucked up. Ninja status. This could come in handy. Nice. Should be able to kick back on the generator. Full cutters. God, that is loud. Down tight. I think there's a lever missing. Yes. It fits. Okay. The gate's open. Now let's get rid of that fucking thing. Okay, that's great. So you're gonna let me do what I need to do, or what? You're not letting me do nothing. <clears throat> I can feel it walking around. My freaking controller is like vibrating and something fierce right now. Nothing over here. So what the hell am I missing? I 
I got the gas. I'm not able to push this thing or what? Ah, there it is. Okay. Good luck with that. Sorry, nothing? Okay, we got nothing over there. Okay. Alright. Got through that craziness. Still on the hunt to go to the red house, supposedly that's out here in the woods. Sounds like sadness. Sadness, is that you? Hi, Marianne. Did you find what you were looking for? I was hoping you could tell me. Hmm. Sadness. Hmm. I need you to focus. Hmm. Think back to as far as you can remember. What do you see? Hmm. Is this a game? I'm afraid not, hon. This is important. Listen. I know what Richard did. Was he the one keeping you here? Marianne! It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Lily. Lily? Lily. used to be your name. Do you remember? All that's happened. Your father. You remember him? Uh, I remember. Uh, mommy. Oh, she was so pretty. But, but so sad. Just like you. It must be nice to remember your mommy. Mm. I never met my parents. They... They... We were in an accident when I was very little. Yeah. I was the only one who made it. It was really lonely without them. I... Uh, I know that's like ever since my friends this is a lonely place Marianne I shouldn't be here 
Maybe you'd be better off somewhere else. Maybe I could send me away. No, Marianne. I can't leave. Not yet. But why? Aren't you afraid? Of the monster? I am. But it doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place. But it, it will never be full. It will never stop killing. Mm. Let me send you away. So we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can... No, Marianne. It's not just about me. You. You have to remember the dream, the fire, the red house. What? Ooh. Wait. What is the red house? You were there, Marianne, with me. You were always with me. I'm so sorry. Lily? Gone. Just when I thought I could finally send her away. Thomas? I really hope you're still out here. Because I'm running out of options. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. It's like I'm missing a doll. For this little girl? Um, I'm sorry, but, um, father doesn't like it when I talk to strangers. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Would you happen to know where he is? I'd love to have a word with him. Go away! Or I'll scream! Clever girl. Thomas. You were here. This was your place. There's the missing doll. This looks like it could lift a pound or two. It's missing a handle. How convenient. Well, you're one to talk. This was your bright idea. No, they're already on to us. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on. It's almost on. One of them? Who are you running from, Thomas? Hmm. What the hell happened here? July 27, 1983. The Gemini case. The investigation is moving along, but I think Rekovich is starting to suspect something. We need to move fast. Tonight's the night. So they knew about Thomas. But how much, exactly? And who the hell were they? Hmm. More unanswered questions. The power's out.
there's something under that engine. If only I could lift it somehow. Okay, so now we know where the handles are. Oh, hey, a eunuch. Someone's got good taste. And there's nothing here. Wait a minute. Generator's up top. So somehow I need to get up there. Let me get up there. I don't think so, chat. I don't think it's gonna let me up there. But we need to figure out if there's like a hill or something to get up to that top level. Like a ladder or something I can go to. There we go, that's what I wanna see. We can get into one of these windows or something. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, it's a, one of those. Okay, I see what it is. Gotta have one of those out of body experiences. I don't have enough juice to charge anything, though. The thing I'm running into. Okay, so. Oh, because I'm an idiot. Thank you, chat. Thank you for giving me the right direction. Not really, but we know where to go. All right, so now I'm juiced up. So now we're going to go over here. Back up here. wait a minute hold the phone so you're telling me that oh this is gonna be one of these deals huh okay i see what's happening here yeah i still got juice so that's fine okay so it looks like i have to put my physical body next to the button and then I have to take my spiritual body and then go all the way to the very top of the building amidst not dying. That sounds like super fun. Okie dokie. So we're going to go right here. Then we're going to do this. And then we're going to run like hell. Looks like I can run this direction though. But this might be a shortcut. Oh yeah, it's a shortcut. Sweet. We go, come on. We go. Give it a juice. There we go. Then back out. And then hit the X button. Okay. Perfect. thing it didn't drop it on my head all right I'm back out to here blah, 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 doo, doo, doo. here we go and let there be a handle what's 
this the red house? It was then I knew. This was the place. The answers were right in front of me, buried among the ashes. There's got to be something left. You think you're tough? When you hear them squeal and you smell their bodies burning, you'll tell me everything. You'll beg me to listen. God. There were children inside? Was she? Was I? Go in this direction, chat. You think you're so special? You'll burn just like the rest of us. Jesus. Who the fuck is that guy? Guy yeah, with some serious problems. Now we gotta go back this way? Talk about a government agent, comrade. Uh oh. Wake up, comrade. Socialism ain't gonna build itself. Fuck. You don't know who you're messing with, kid. Oh. But I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's called... What makes... Thomas Tick. So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were, what, three years old? Oh, they were gonna kill you, but they didn't. No, they saw your potential and wanted to harness it. But then... Poof. The war's over. In comes the heroic Red Army, and they locked me up for years. Fucking savages. <laughs> they do important scientific research. Find out what it is that makes you special. 
And what is that exactly? Ask your mom. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> you enjoy it, don't you? <sighs> Hurting people like those scientists. <sighs> what were you? Eighteen. I saw the photographs. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I was impressed. Stick around. We'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last, but always on the run. And look at you, you almost made it. But you had to use this power of yours again. And on who? On your best friend, Richard. You had it coming. Yes. yes. I know you want it. Revenge, I understand. I would do anything for my child, too. Whatever it takes. Leave my children out of this. Children. Yes. How much pain would you endure to keep them safe? What would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Let me go, you piece of shit! That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. Hmm. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. See yourself. No! <laughs> You're sick! Fuck! Let me out of here! Let me out! You're still in there, Thomas. Will you show me now? gonna completely own this guy that's like torturing him fucking finally I thought he'd never give us a chance okay you gotta move fast thankfully this place has a way of messing with the time flow I still got a chance to save them all work and no play are you Henry all right. Let's see what makes you tick. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. That's interesting. Fuck. I have the feeling it's going to come like from the left hand side and just completely demolish me. It's going to walk right underneath me. Nope. Guess not. No, I was trying to call it. 
sometimes with the horror games, you kind of know when it's coming, when it's or like when the good times to do your jump scares are. That's locked. There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. Okay, looks like I uh, got a real tape. Case file 73523, codename Butcher. Suspect Jacob, Jacob Wilk. Suspect theft, fraud, and legal trade. Investigator Henry Wilk, Senior Constable. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. <laughs> yeah. I admit the landscapes are really, really detailed. I really do like the... Yeah. Landscapes. Shit. Ration stamps. Looks like I can't do anything. I know you're here. You've been up there. You Fuck. are. Where are you, boy? section over there. <clears throat> Bad boy! Fuck! Get in there. Do 
Don't you hide from me! There you are! Well, I guess that works then. place here uh, some sort of pig slaughterhouse kind of ordeal going on all right keep running keep running keep running looks like we got something going on over here Like a messed up individual, that's what it sounds like. Where are you, boy? Perfect. Ugh. Makes you want to have some bacon, huh? Identity card. Hmm. I don't think it's patriotism's or patriotism is stronger than blood. I think it's just he wanted to get rid of his dad. Yeah, that's all that is. You want me to feel sorry for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. So this guy's actually trained opposite of what she was to pretty much take people out rather than try to rescue. On the real good. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. 
If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. Jeez. Pretty bleak. Try this one. Okay, we'll see what kind of big nasty monstrosity thing is going to be happening here. Special assignment for Major Henry Wilk, a person of interest found in the Neva Workers Resort near Krautkar. The local investigators reported a strange case involving the painter slash classified person was found alive, but in a vegetative state. Foul play was success. I can't even talk. Foul play was sus suspected. There you go. Yeah, brain lag. Anyway, what ex or the examination didn't show any signs of brain trauma. Possible connection to the Gemini case. Consult the classified files. Keep it clean. Keep it quiet. This is what we've been training you for. Note, I strongly recommend you acquaint yourself with the Soviet scientist. Notes we acquired during classified in 1950. You'll be granted access to the archives entry 1138. This is for your eyes only. We'll dig in. Uh, report to your case officer for further briefing. Alright, so that's him getting put on the case to try to hunt Thomas. What's this? This subject number 42. Subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. Claims that another blank is talking to him, showing, showing him visions. Working theory, suspected connection to blank. Possible established as a result of near-death experience. More tests is necessary to confirm the split theory. Hmm. Oh, let's uh, just keep on running. sessions halted prematurely due to an incident in the test chamber while administering prescribed substances. Lead scientist Dr. Blank came into skin-to-skin -skin contact with the subject, was promptly hospitalized despite showing no signs of physical trauma. He fell into a vegetative state from which he is yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted indefinitely. Somebody's try trying to get me, I guess. Despite the increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restrained both physically and mentally for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply.
like an encyclopedia of reasons. Shit, here he comes. Oh, get out of here. Be fucking hurt. Oh, so I got to do it pre -cur I thought I was supposed to smoosh him, not like have it down so that he can't attack me. BS rip. <sighs> All right, one more time. Not good. Shit. Almost got me this time. I was about to say, man, this guy's, like, soul, if you want to call it that, is just buried. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Can't get me up here, can you? There. Got you right where I wanted. Time to put you out of your misery. And stay the fuck down! Taking out a crazy motherfucker. That's pretty. That was, that was pretty gnarly looking. That damn time. This thing. Mommy, daddy, and me. Simon, so are you, tired. boy? Dad? Hey there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we'll go fishing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes, Daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? Hmm. I... Yes, Father. God damn. 
How long is it gonna take? Uh, Damn. Don't worry, kid. This will all be over soon. One hell of an institution. Come on. Just a slight jog through the post apocalyptic mindset of a ser or uh, an, an agency killer. Put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's. Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? <laughs> Looks like they survived, I guess. Maybe. Take a long nap. Don't mind me. Remember? It's him. It was always him. Thomas. Thomas is gone. You're too late. tried to kill us what did you do to her what did you do to Lillian Talking 
about. He, he wanted to save us. To save her. Maybe. In a way, that's exactly what he did. This is fucking madness. Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. All right, chat. I think that's where we're going to call it here. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. All right. Talk about a crazy fucking experience here i mean goddamn so you find out that there's like specialty ci or whatever like undercover russian spies getting sent to find your father who your father then took out his mentor because of the fact that his mentor ended up I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know if it's the undertone or whatever, but molesting your daughter and just talk about a fucked up situation. No wonder that place is like a hellscape of just all kinds of like different emotions, madness. And it's insane. This is completely nuts. So story, I, I'm going to admit the story is really good. So, I mean, I'm going to play all the way through it, get through the story. Um, not really too much in the way of like gameplay stuff like that mechanics so if you want my review and i'm still going to play it for the story i kind of want to know what happens at the end of it but if you guys want to know my take on it i mean if you want a good story a good kind of thriller kind of a thing this is a good game to play um is it worth the money of what you're paying for right off the rip i think i bought it on sale for 44 bucks uh, I think it's I I mean the quality in the, the quality and craftsmanship of the environments is top-notch So it's really worth the time, but I really think that this could have been maybe like a $35 or $30 game I mean just because there's not too many game mechanics it's more built on the story than it is of the game itself so in the puzzles and yeah, there's puzzles and stuff like that, but I mean I don't know it just seems it seems slightly lacking but the story makes up for it and the environments make up so that's my review on it 